Hi, this video is from interview.com. Interview.com is a job portal. In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, AdBean annotation. What is the use of AdBean annotation? So, let me talk about the Spring configuration XML file we used to use in Spring 2.5. So, prior to Spring 3, we were using XML files where we'll have the bean stack, and inside the bean stack, we'll have bean tag with ID and the class class information so that spring container can create the object and register as a bean in the in the in the, con in the con context and with the id so this is how we used to create bean beans in the spring container in prior to spring 3 now in sp after spring 3 they have introduced the uh, java config where you can have a java class and uh, marked with add configuration annotation which is coming from a spring class whenever you load this class using annotation config application context so this is one of the contexts uh, where I can give the Java class as it is uh, prior to spring 3 we were using class path XML application context where we used to give the XML file uh, within the codes we used to give the uh, spring configuration XML file but after spring 3 um, we can give a Java class itself which is marked as configuration now spring will try to uh, find out all the bean annotations all the bean annotations and the corresponding methods it will try to create the object and it will register all these objects as bean in the spring container if you give the name of the bean that's fine but if you don't give it's going to take the method name of the method as the bean name in the spring context so so it's going to scan all the bean annotations and it's going to find out the objects it's going to register in the spring context and then after it's registered we can ask the context can you give me this bean and we are going to get the bean and as usual we are going to invoke the methods so uh, the only uh, difference is instead of giving an XML file we are going to give a Java class with some annotation so very flexible no need to maintain the XML file so that's the purpose of bean annotation in spring 3 and bean annotation comes from the spring class hope this video is useful and informative thank you and all the best if you like this video please click the like button thank you